Good morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, it's Friday. I uh, hope everybody has a good and safe weekend. Uh, certainly, uh, some of the market will be watching uh, anything that could occur in Israel uh, with Iran threatening some kind of attack and retaliation for earlier uh, Israeli attack. Um, the market also is uh, looking at crude oil prices back up close to $86 a barrel. Gold making new highs at 24.10. I've got coffee up, the dollar's higher, and U.S. stocks are going to open up lower. In the grains, uh, beans are up about two cents, corn's unchanged, and wheat's unchanged. Reaction to the USDA numbers yesterday was negative, uh, with USDA not really giving the bulls much uh, by increasing the bean uh, carryout um, and due to lower exports. They left the South American crops pretty much unchanged versus private estimates of at least uh, Brazil corn and beans and Argentina corn crop lower than what the USDA uh, is saying. In the corn market, they did lower the carryout due to higher domestic usage. But again, uh, we're looking at competition from Ukraine and South America that could potentially reduce uh, U.S. corn export demand. And in the wheat market, again, uh, just too much wheat in the Black Sea and also in Europe um, that uh, keeps a lid on, on prices unless there's a, a weather problem. We'll be watching to see uh, crop ratings uh, on um, Monday to see if there's any decline in hard red runner wheat areas because of the dryness. Weather, I mean, there isn't really any issues yet to rally or trigger the fund short covering. Uh, U.S. Uh, Western Corn Belt will be dry, which should help planting, while the east, southern, and southeast uh, will see more rain, which could slow plantings there. Uh, there is moisture up in the northern plains, which is much needed uh, before spring wheat planting. Uh, Europe is okay. Uh, the Black Sea is mostly okay. Uh, there is a ridge next week in Russia, but that ridge breaks down in the second week, uh, potentially allowing for at least a better chance of, of rain. So in general, uh, the three things that we trade, money flow, um, number one, the funds are still uh, short, the grains, although they are uh, looking at higher commodity prices in general, led by energy and, and gold. Um, number two uh, is the, on the demand side, which it seems like uh, there's plenty of grain worldwide to compete for U.S. exports. And a lot of uncertainty on import buying for wheat in the Middle East and uh, Northern Africa, uh, corn buying uh, in Asia, and soybean buying also in, in Asia. Um, and then finally um, is the um, threat of uh, interest rates continuing to be higher longer, uh, which uh, because of inflation. 